European ministers are meeting now to discuss the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan and the flow of refugees that's expected to result. Governments across the bloc are looking to avoid a repeat of the mass wave of migrants and refugees seen in 2015. Evangelos Sipsas reports from Athens. The events in Afghanistan have sparked fears in the European Union of a repeat of the 2015 refugee crisis. There's concern that millions now might head to Europe. Haunted by the influx of refugees from Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan, Greek politicians desperately try to avoid another large influx of migrants. The EU is not ready and is not, does not have the capacity to handle another major migration crisis. And we see that in the reaction of most European Union governments. Greek officials have said that Greece will not become a getaway to Europe for Afghan asylum seekers. Last week, the country extended a wall along its land border with Turkey with a new 40-kilometer steel fence. Drones, cameras and radars have been installed and extra guards are being hired as well as more Coast Guard patrols along its sea border with Turkey. We examined ways to enhance surveillance and protection systems and I need to say that Greece continues to shield itself against any potential or existing threat against its security. But Greece is not the only EU country constructing walls along its border. Poland is following the same path. The Polish government is building a barbed wire fence along the border with Belarus. Currently 32 people thought to be Afghans have been stuck for weeks along the border near the Polish village of Urznaz Gorni. Polish authorities have described the situation on the border with Belarus as a crisis. We must have the consent of the Belarusian authorities. Would we wish that someone would carry out activities across our border without our consent? Of course not. We respect the integrity and sovereignty of the Belarusian state and have applied for such consent. We have not received such consent yet. The border Poland shares with Belarus and Greece with Turkey form part of the EU's external border, the first line of defense for the Union. Greek authorities argue that they have already shouldered a great burden during the migrant and refugee crisis and say in the face of a new migration wave, it will not be limited to the role of an observer, but an actor. Evangelo Sipsas for CGTN, Athens. Well, Tony Waterman has been watching that EU meeting for us. She's in Brussels for us now. So, Tony, have any firm commitments been made yet? Well, there has been a couple of things that have come out of this in uh, it, Home Affairs Minister's meeting that took place. We're just having the press conference now. The main thing was about trying to stabilize the situation on the ground in Afghanistan, and that would prevent what uh, the Home, official, um, Home Affairs Commissioner Johansson said that if we can avoid a humanitarian crisis, then that will prevent the migration crisis. And now you just heard from that report. That is the main objective for Brussels right now, making sure that there is not this massive influx of refugees from Afghanistan. The plan now is to funnel hundreds of millions of dollars into countries neighboring Afghanistan, transit com countries like Pakistan, so that people are supported on the ground and do not make what is often a very dangerous trek to try to get over uh, to Europe. One thing we did not hear from these ministers, though, is a set number on how many people are going to be resettled here in Europe. As I said, the plan is to outsource this uh, issue to the surrounding area and not allow these people to make their way uh, to Europe in the first place. Uh, some countries uh, have said that they are not going to resettle any of these Afghan refugees. Austria reiterating uh, that earlier uh, today, but these interior ministers saying in their statement that it's going to be left up to a voluntary basis, that each member state will decide for itself if and how many refugees it would like to resettle. So we do not have any firm commitment uh, on that. They did say, though, that for refugees that do decide to make their way over to Europe, that they are going to deploy the border security uh, a bit more, that Frontex EU agency, and they were going to prevent any sort of abnormal entries into the bloc. So uh, that is to prevent uh, an influx at the outside borders. There is also going to be an information campaign uh, to try to dissuade people from leaving, leaving the region, really targeting uh, those human traffickers, those, those smugglers, which 
often create these narratives uh, that are just untrue about the safety and getting over here. Uh, security also very top of mind for these uh, EU officials. They fear that Afghanistan uh, could become once again a safe haven for uh, terrorists and crime organizations. So they're going to be watching very closely on whether or not uh, that is going to be an issue. And with all of these Western forces now out of the region, Brussels, Europe, Western allies are really left depending on diplomacy and uh, whatever relationship that they can create with the Taliban to meet their own objectives, particularly when it comes around the security issue, human rights issue, uh, women and children who are, of course, among the most vulnerable to Taliban rule. They need to work with the Taliban, but the commissioner is saying today, uh, we don't recognize that there is a new government in Afghanistan right now. So you can see that they are walking uh, this very tricky line at the moment, trying to meet their objectives when it comes to human rights, preventing a humanitarian crisis, preventing a security crisis and an influx of refugees. They need to work with the Taliban, uh, but they are not recognizing uh, the Taliban at the moment. So the big takeaway from this meeting today we thought that there might be some numbers around resettlement. We are not getting any numbers uh, out of the Home Affairs ministers when it comes to the number of people going to be allowed in here. Uh, and also, the main focus is going to be the resources, the money, the aid support is going to be going to the countries neighboring in Afghanistan. Uh, the Home Affairs minister for Slovenia said that there are a lot of safe countries in the region that these individuals can go to and can resettle there and not come to Europe. Everybody would like to avoid a situation like the one in 2015, and we can avoid it. We are much better prepared, and we can reach out to uh, do things already now. We should not wait until we have uh, people at our external borders. But to be able to do that, we need to act together, and I think all member states uh, agree on that. They said that coming to an agreement on this issue was very tricky, but they did, in the end of the day, sign this agreement, focusing uh, their energies and resources on Afghanistan, stabilizing the situation there, and trying to keep any of these refugees in the coming weeks and the coming months in that region. Tony, thank you very much indeed. Tony Waterman reporting from Brussels.